Hey, groovy people. So, today I want to talk. I'm doing a supplemental little groovy minute. Hopefully it'll be nice and short, but the bottom line is trust yourself. Um, I've been going through some things and throughout my experience as a mommy, I have had trouble trusting myself. And what that means is sometimes I would trust everyone else and I would listen to everyone else's advice, but yet inside my soul, it just wouldn't um, resonate with me. And I don't think I was trying to be difficult or trying to be different just for the sake of being different, just the fact that certain things just don't resonate with my soul and so I feel compelled to change them. And um, the trick is, is when you are in a situation where you're relying on things that need to be changed, they um, need to still provide you with something so that you can be freed up enough to change the world. <laughs> it's like a catch-22. So, um, what I wanted to share with you today is parents out there that may be struggling with this, um, I've just been learning to trust myself. So, I wanted to read you something. Here we go. Um, I hear a bunch of really wonderful Buddhist, Zen, um, positive statements. <laughs> you can hear Justin in the back, he's watching something. Um, so here's one that I wrote down one day and I was like, it just felt wonderful and it's been something I've been focusing on uh, since and I found a wonderful, I made some serious, like, exciting um, moments lately. So, here we go. Nothing is offensive, everything is beautiful, even you, even the world, and how you want to change it. Change it gently, with, in, with intention and love, as you wish to be changed, with intention and love. Embrace your courage. And that's true, I like to be changed <laughs> gently, um, but with a bit of insistence, because I'm fairly stubborn. <laughs> um, and. Uh, what I found um, recently is that we've come through so much with my kids and I and we've realized that every time we seek outside help um, from anything that's already a staple in society that helps families working the adventures of autism um, they're meant to help but they help in such a restrictive manner and sometimes the ways that they help don't validate or, or coordinate in a way that feels good to me. And so I continue to go back and seek those things and it's almost like I want torture. <laughs> so I decided this time, as I was leaving the hospital with Justin and trying to find coverage in my home and knowing that the school district holds the key to the financial piece of that, I feel like I don't want to coordinate with them because it's just a bunch of resistance. Um, and I, the more I thought about it, the more freaked out I got and my whole inner self just got depressed and um, unstable. So um, it's kind of like when you're in a bad and scary situation and you feel like, I've got to leave, I've got to get out of here. That's kind of how I feel about engaging with the schools right now. Um, so, I decided I'm going to engage with people who've already made this trek and they're already very evolved and they coordinate with other families and help the parents feel like um, the experts that they are and help parents trust their intuition and, and live their vision for their family. And that's really what I want. I want my family values to be honored so that when I leave my children to their independence. I can live with myself and I can go and have my own life. But right now I feel like all the options that are given to me are so narrow. So I need to create something that will work and resonate with my own soul. So I decided to try um, for a scholarship at um, the Sunrise Program, which is the Options Institute. And it's here in Massachusetts. It's here in Great Barrington. I heard about it when Justin was like six or five. Um, one of his teachers gave me a flyer about it. And of course, challenging to go to a week-long course when you need 24-hour care for your 
job, but I'm going to do it. Um, I won a scholarship from them, and then I had to raise another $750, and I found out from my team here in Massachusetts that they can cover parent training costs through different funds that are available to parents. Can you push stop? I know you, Justin's playing a video of, of us swimming in the pond to show me that he wants to swim in the pond. Um, and he's giggling. So, anyhow, bottom line is I want a scholarship and I'm going to be trained in September and I'm going to create a program that will work and resonate with my soul and that will give my son the opportunity to be a member of his community here and um, be included and live a full life. And my daughter, same thing. And then when I go to live my full life, I will have um, everything aligned. So. I'm making steps towards all of this, and bottom line is people, trust yourself, and when you get that feeling where it doesn't quite resonate with you, investigate it at least, you know? You know, you don't have to run or, or act at that moment. Nothing is a rush, and you can, uh, you know, create whatever you don't see before you. So don't stop believing that, and I hope, um, you get everything you ever hoped for for you and your family. I hope I do too. I think I will. Anyway, peace, love, groovy. <laughs> <laughs>